Right, in this video I'm going to show you how I've finished my disc brake device for my MyFed ML7 which has turned out a very successful and I'm really pleased with that. I've got a new HSS high cobalt drill set to actually test out which I've got from Banggood so I'm looking forward to trying these ones out. And I've got some excellent value HSS blanks to show you. I'm not going to test these out but I want to show you these because they're so great value for money. Plus I want to show newcomers how to actually cut the HSS in half and I say that because um, these are 200 millimeter long and this is why they're so great value for money. They're under three dollars to buy but you can actually cut them in half and make two tools out of the one piece. And this is a very common size, this is 12 millimeter wide and two millimeter thick so they make excellent part off blades and they fit all these holders. This is the Alaris type tool holder which I've shown the um, Alaris um, tool post recently. The quick change um, tool post holder for the MyFed ML7 or the um, Chinese mini lathe or this type of tool holder here if you have one. So it's a very common size and great value for money and I bought five pieces so I can actually make ten tools out of those five pieces and they're double-ended tools. And it does really pay off if you go on sites like eBay or Banggood and hunt around for different tooling. I found that I've saved hundreds of pounds by doing this rather than buying from um, the shops or whatever in Britain. And I don't actually mind saying that because the actual companies that sell these sort of things in uh, the UK at least, they buy these uh, from China in bulk, then they add prices to them, double them up or treble them even I've seen, and then sell them on. And they don't actually make these um, components or um, tooling yet they're making a terrific profit on it and I found that I'd rather just go on to the eBay sites and buy direct from China or from Banggood or whatever and save myself a lot of money. So now I'm going to go out into the workshop, show you how to cut these in half and also give these a test and show my new MyFed ML7 braking system. Right, so this is how I fixed it, the MyFed ML7. I've got a block of brass here which is screwed onto the guard here from the inside with two 6mm stainless steel Allen bolts. And then I've got this brass piece here which is about quarter inch thick screwed on from this side with the same um, type of Allen bolt. So they meet in the centre of this uh, block here or just shy of each other. And then I've just taken the bottom half of the brake caliper off and used one of the existing holes here to screw it onto this piece of brass. And I've only screwed it on with one um, screw on this side or one um, bolt on this side and that's perfectly adequate. Then in the existing brake lever hole there, that's a 6mm thread and I used a piece of uh, studding um, screwed that in, locked it up with a nut here and put one of my brass balls on the top here. And it has actually turned out better than I thought it would. It's better than having a cable. Um, I can just reach this with my left hand and lock up the brake. And it doesn't come on too hard. You can actually control the um, leverage obviously with the lever here and bring it on lightly so that the chuck won't undo anything.